Welcome to Guy Coco Gamers. I'm Daryl Benson, and uh, we're here to talk about Alien Isolation. So uh, it turns out that this game was much hyped by plenty of sites, including IGN. And uh, much like a typical IGN, after they hype a game up and tell you how great it is and it's going to be awesome, they give it a horrible score. Except this time, it didn't really seem to deserve it. Um, both IGN and GameSpot went ahead and uh, gave Alien uh, Isolation a, a pretty pitiful score. IGN gave it a 5.9 out of 10, which is, let's just say this, uh, I you don't see a score like that on a AAA release unless there are things that are severely broken, graphical glitches, control glitches, freezing, and it didn't have any of that. Uh, it just turns out that the person who played it thought it was too hard while playing it on hard difficulty setting. Didn't like that the aliens AI was smart and unpredictable, which is actually a good thing and something that we have not been able to have in a video game until now. And and frankly, he didn't seem like the type of person to even like survival horror games, uh, which of course he's not going to like it. He admitted the story was good, he admitted that the controls were good, the graphics were good, the presentation was good, blah 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 blah, blah. the AI was good, blah, blah 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 Just didn't like playing the game. <laughs> and, and, and it's just, this reviewer apparently um, has done some other reviews for the site and uh, he did uh, Halo 4 and he claimed that it was the best Halo ever made, which it's not. Um, it just seems, it seems like, especially when you have nines and eights coming from pretty much every other review site, even frickin' Eurogamer, and, and the Escapist, I mean, talk about some people who never like anything, and, uh, they're giving it nines and eights and just loving it, and, uh, yeah. Uh, it attracted a lot of hate, which I'm sure IGN is loving because they got a bajillion hits today. And, uh, well, you know, let them. You know, this is, this is my point, um, though. What really ticks me off is when I see people in the comment section saying, thanks for saving me 60 bucks, I guess this game is a bad game. And then people would respond and say, you do realize that most people are giving this a really, this game a really good score. And you're like, oh, but this is the only site to listen to. This is one man's opinion. This isn't even all of IGN's opinion. This is just one dude's opinion of a game. And frankly, professional reviews are there to warn you of things that m you may not like. Um, they're not. You're not supposed to just look at a score and go yay or nay based on a score. You're supposed to read the review, see if anything relates to you, Let's just say it's a racing game, and you don't really like uh, Mario Kart style racers. If a person is review re reviewing the game Blur, and says, you know, even though it looks like a regular realistic racing game, it has heavy elements that are borrowed from kart racers, you would know to pass up the game, even if the guy gave it a 9.5 out of 10, right? Same philosophy here, but in reverse. People just look at the score, they don't realize that the game is actually good. In fact, if you read the guy's review on IGN, uh, the ir ironic part is that the review reads pretty positive. I, I was expecting it to get a 7.9 or, or 7.5 based on the uh, review. And then you scroll down after you read the review and it's just like, oh. <laughs> but. I really, really, really hope that people, if anybody listens to this and takes anything from this, I hope that people go ahead and realize that a score is not end-all be-all. And it's not just about Alien Isolation, it's about uh, several games that have been coming out recently. Because I've been seeing this uh, in, co in the comment section today in that area for other games. People will keep on saying things like, oh well, Watch Dogs didn't get a perfect score, and neither did Destiny, and now this. Ha 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 ha. There's no good games for next gen. Ha 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 ha. 
Yeah, actually there are, and um, you know, a, a game doesn't have to get a, a, a 9.9 .9 out of 10 or 9.5 out of 10 in order to be a really fun game. You know, the Metacritic, I think, for Destiny right now is something like a 77%. And personally, I find that game to be a lot of fun. It's unoriginal as shit. It's basically Fantasy Star Online, but with first-person shooter elements. But it doesn't take away from how fun it is. I genuinely have fun when I play that game. And unlike a game like Mass Effect, it doesn't seem to end. And I think if people just played the game themselves... Unless it's a stinking turd where everyone universally agrees that the game is broken. you If you had an interest in it before the reviews come out, still play it. Even if that just means playing the demo, even if that means just renting it, even if that means just going to Redbox or whatever you gotta do, try it. And make up your own opinion. And make up your own mind. And if you don't like it and you think it deserves a 5.9, all the power to you. And I'm not going to make fun of someone like that. But I will make fun of someone on the comments section for saying a game's complete shit when they haven't even played it and they haven't even tried it and they're only basing their belief structure on one person's belief who does not seem to be the norm out of all the professional reviewers out there. So that's my message to you guys. Please form your own opinions uh, and you might just have fun. So until then, this is Daryl Benson with another Bite Size episode of Kai Koko Gamers, please check us out tomorrow with more videos as usual. Every day we have videos and please comment, rate, and subscribe. We really appreciate every single one. We just re recently got some new subscriptions and we've been getting some new comments and new upvotes and we appreciate every single one that we get. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.